What's up guys, Angus Nandy here from ProDirect and today we're talking about kit bag essentials you need for the upcoming season. Make sure you are liking, subscribing and commenting on the video. Let us know what you think and if you want to win either my choice of product in my kit bag or Angus's choice of product in his kit bag, make sure you comment which team you're on. Are you team Andy or are you team Angus? Getting straight into it, we're going to start with the bags. I always need a bag, a kit bag, with a boot compartment at the bottom. I need to keep my boots separate from the stash in my, from the dirty towels, from the dirty nice. socks and the shin pads. Keep True. them separate. It just keeps things clean. And then the smell is, you know, keep the it clean. keeps it away. Yeah. A boot compartment is always important for me. What, what kind of bag? What I'm kind of bag straight up for? exclusive. I like to walk in, walk in the change room with a bag that no one else has. So this bag isn't actually on the market. This is a straight up brand repping. This is the private label Pro Direct bag. Not available oh, for retail. Exclusive. Maybe in the future one day, but you know, I'm straight up exclusive with my bag. It's got cool compartments for my boots. It's got a separate area for my kit and everything like that. It's yeah. fully customizable in terms of inside of how I want the layout. Yeah, it just suits me down nice. to the tee. Yeah. Exclusive fire. Exclusive. Oh, always exclusive, always Sorry. exclusive. Now inside the bag, we're gonna start. Do you wear socks? I do. So I cut my socks. I cut, I, I cut my socks as I'm well. I'm one of those, I'm one of those uh, players. And I always wear white socks, um, or white ankle socks first, and then I've got um, the match socks to, to, to go over it. But I've opted for the Storelli Grip socks recently. Uh, quite a new product that's on the market, um, sort of designed to give you more grip. Interesting. Uh, on your foot to boots, so it's more responsive, they look more quite reactive. Thin, to be fair. They are thin, but they're, they're super comfortable. Mm, nice. They're super comfortable. Well, I'm brand stuck new. with a bit more tried and tested brand in that area. I've gone with the True Socks. As we all know, the True Socks are kind of the leading lights in this kind of area in terms of sock and grip. I stuck with the Old Trusted. I've been wearing them for years and years and years, yeah. so and Lots they've the never done me wrong. Never done me wrong. Do they add to your performance? I don't know about that, but they make my feet a hell of a lot comfier. A lot of players wear them. A lot of players have been wearing them. Um, we saw at the World Cup that a few players got in a little bit of trouble for wearing them, yeah. uh, going against grain. But again, that just speaks volumes that players are willing to break the rules yeah. to stick with true socks. For sure, for sure. Do you train in them as well? I do, yeah. yeah. I do train in them. If you haven't tried out Sterling, I recommend them. I think they're sort of competing against True Socks. Yeah, so they're sort of competing. Sort of seeing how well really. they do. If you, haven't, if you haven't tried them out, then I recommend them. Give them a go because they are comfortable. They give you that extra bit of grip. And yeah, rate them. Rate them. Just stay true. Stay true. Stay true to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next up, shin pads. The things that people always forget. Shin Everyone, pads. I always have someone in the team asking for a spare pad. Yeah, hundred percent. Which which ones have you gone for? I've gone out. I've gone for the Mercurial Light Super Lock shin pads. I guess the key thing for me with a shin pad is to feel like you're not wearing a shin pad. I hate it when they're too big. They're too clumpy. They slide around. They slide about, yeah. and kind of when you're playing, it's just always on your mind that your shin pads are moving about and you're constantly adjusting them. I've never seen Everything this in, real, in in person. Yeah, but it's just. It's quality, they've got the spikes yeah. in there. Yeah. So that is the super, the super lock technology on the front. Right. Um, so basically all that does is adds a little bit of grip in terms of the holding it yeah. on in the in position with the sock. So you don't need tape, you reckon? The not idea is not to have tape. Okay. Um, I do cool. wear a little bit of tape, just aesthetic pleasure. Aesthetic pleasure, right, I get it, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and just that <laughs> added extra security on them. But no, these are uh, an amazing shin pad actually in terms of the light, I don't feel like I'm wearing them. I don't. They don't feel too bulky. Yeah. And of course, they keep my shins protected. That's the important thing. Unless it you're Harry Maguire. The, unless you're Harry you Maguire. Got half the size of these shin pads and up, up by his knees. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm straight up all for these. So you you went for old reliable with socks. Old reliable now, with socks. New technology. I went new technology with socks, but old reliable with G form. So they've been around for a few years now, um, but it's, it's revolutionary shin pad technology, really protective technology. It's super flexible, super lightweight. Uh, again, no need for tape around your shins. Um, they hold themselves in place. But when they, with impact, they're just they're just they're just as solid as well as anything anything else. Like it's quite a soft foam, but I think on the instant impact, um, it's it's just super protective from your shins. This is probably the best shin pad I've ever worn because really you don't need it doesn't move around. No, I've never worn them. Um, I guess like the initial thing that's stopping me wearing them is that they do look quite big. But like if you're saying you know the comfort wise, yeah, the biggest problem I've had with shin pads is they move around. Yeah, uh, and you have to pull socks up and, and tape. I them think to that's yourself, the constant battle with shin pads. That's why we have locking technology. Lock yeah, that's true, but. 
cheap one, isn't it? <laughs> You've got to protect yourself. You've got to protect yourself. By the way, guys, everything of this is available at ProRexSoccer.com. So if you see anything you like, we're putting out the bags, then you head online and, and cop your own, uh, whether it's boots, shin pads, socks, whatever. And we're also giving away, again, uh, a bag of our, our choice. Um, so just don't forget to like, comment, Angus or Andy for which bag you want to win, and subscribe to ProRex. Next, base layers. Base layers. Important part of any kit bag, a base layer. For sure. Um, I don't tend to wear an upper base layer because I find it uncomfortable. Okay. Um, I always, always, always wear yeah. a pair of base layer shorts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Always wear these just for added comfort. Okay. Um, they give you that compression around your legs as well. So when you're feeling a bit tired, it's added a bit of help. No, no chafing. No chafage. No chafing, no chafage yeah. going on here. Okay. Um, in terms of branding, uh, Under Armour are kind of up there with the best. Yeah. When it comes to base layer solid. technology, kind of the brand is founded on base layers. Um, they're branching out and making boots and they're doing a really good job in the boot section, but in terms of what they do really, yeah. really well. They're in that space, yeah. Is with base layer technology. Any game I play, I will wear a pair of base layer shorts. Okay, I'm hit and miss. I'm hit or miss with bottoms. Like, usually I forget them or I leave them in the wash, so I have to wear a pair Never. of boxes. Uh, and I don't I get, I get around it, I get by with it. Um, I don't people, get too much different chafing. needs. There you go, cheers David. Lager, sometimes cider, so. But uh, it's something I always tend to, to wear is uh, is a second, well, is a base layer um, for your top. And it's always long sleeve. I don't know, I like that feel of having a long sleeve. You've got a short sleeve shirt, and then you've got a long sleeve base layer. Yeah. Um, and whether it's like in the winter and you need to stay, you just need an extra bit of warmth really, um, or if in the summer you've got, um, you see, it helps. You got technology to help you stay cool, like climate cool. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just it's just a comfort thing, I guess. Different different people, different needs, like you different said. Different people, different needs, but and there are speed. also kind of the full range of colours on the website as well. Just don't, you know, it's not just yeah, black. It's not be black. Yeah. There are so many colours out there. I know the laws in terms of your base layer has to match with your kit. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the, we've got the full range of clothing and colourways on the website. For sure, uh, Under Armour. I think I agree with you. It's uh, it's an authority in the game. Yeah. Uh, they 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 started off early and they just I feel that the fits better. Some some brands are a bit loose, but Under Armour seems to fit my body shape anyway. I'm not saying that's the right Sucking fit, but it yeah, in, aren't it's you? just where the gutting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get big, down big to the important bit: the yeah. tools of the trade. Yeah. Right. What are you wearing on your feet? Okay. Let's start with firm grounds. If you're okay. in, the pitch is a bit hard, what what are you wearing on okay. your feet? I love white boots. I, I love yes. bright coloured and white boots. Right. Uh, so when these come out for the World Cup, uh, I snatch a pair up straight away. Purring. Purring away at the Just Do It Nike TM Pro 7s. Um, the probably one of the best leather boots out there, I think, uh, just comfort wise. The fit, the fit of the foot is just unbelievable. The the collar, the sock, the tongue is just super comfortable. Uh, the, like the leather upper, you've got the sole plate which is chrome. It's still a bit dirty. That sole plate one. is just up there. Unreal. Yeah. Um, so just this white boot, it's leather. It, fit, it just fits. I've got a slight, slightly narrow foot, mm -hmm. so I find Tempo, the Tempo Seven especially, uh, just caters for that need. So I highly recommend the Tempo Seven. It's in white. The colour is amazing with the with the blue. I've also gone for ammo laces. I've customised it up a little ammo, bit. Ammo, these customed up. The reason I wear these is it gives you that as a bit of confidence. So if the ball is yeah. dropping from the height, rather than just taking on the side foot, it might bounce off to do my dodgy touch. You can just take it, take on the touch, do. Interesting. It's just kill it, kill it dead like Ronaldinho. But um, it's there for grip. It's added added grip to the ball, so it's more of a confidence booster for mm. me. And I need all the confidence like. I, can I get. definitely agree with you that that tempo is an absolute stunner. I don't normally wear white boots. Just but white that, trainers. So that is a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> yeah. pair of boots. So there. what have you got? But it doesn't beat these. Yeah. Um, yeah, the yeah. Adidas Predator Team Mode 18.1. I've gone for 18.1 purely for personal reasons. Um, I just like a, that that ability to choose um, how locked in my foot is to the boot um, rather than the 18 plus. But you know, there's no reason if you feel more comfortable in the 18 plus. Go for, Go for the 18 yeah, plus. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's purely down to personal choice on that. It's a stunning boot. It's the classic colorway. I've worn Predator 
since the early days of my playing career. Since it's kind peak. of I've kind of grown up with Predator, yeah. um, so it's really really hard to avoid wearing a Predator in this colorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's taken. Uh, a bit of time, and you always get whenever Adidas release a boot, they just want that same color. The consumer always wants that same color. Yeah. Um, so for Adidas to to listen to everyone, I think, and, and produce oh, this yeah. kind of standard and black, I, red, I'm, and white. I'm so happy they brought yeah. this colorway back. A lot of love. There's a lot of love for that boot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's I, me. Yeah, it is. It is. And incredible. it says a lot think, about the two different styles, you know. What? Yeah, white or black? Let yeah. us know in the comments um, if you're a white boot covered. player or black boot player. Um, just a reminder, we are you can win a pair of either of these boots and either of our bags. All you have to do is like, comment, Angus or Andy below, uh, and subscribe to Product you're Soccer. You're going to go Andy, right? Angus. White boots, mate. Ammo. <laughs> So right. when the weather starts to turn, we should, yeah. it starts to get a bit yeah, yeah. wet and miserable. Yeah, standard England. Clogged up pitches. Yeah. What are you wearing on your feet? Um, SG. Boots. So are you, are you picking? I like I like bright coloured boots. Yeah. You know yeah, that, that is true. Most people know that. Um, so to go for soft ground, I've gone with the brand new, uh, brand new Puma One. I had the first gen Puma, uh, eight, no, the first gen Puma when it first came out, and it's probably one of the best boots I've ever worn. I d yeah, and you the, didn't stop telling me about it. <laughs> I'll never stop telling you about <laughs> it. Um, but the leather up and, and the, the sock collar was just just a game changer, and they've evolved it um, to the third generation Puma One now. Um, I haven't worn these yet, but I'm excited to give them a go. Uh, if anything, if there's anything to go by, then these would just be a, a, an outstanding boot. Um, and the colourway, I like silver. I can, I can, I don't mind silver. The orange is a bit is a bit loud, but don't mind the bright colours. And you got the sole plate. Totally um, pick. Yeah, it's just the soft grounds. I'm just trying something new this season, you know. Trying something new. You know, a new it. season, new yeah, you. For sure, exactly. Going for it. And there's additional lacing systems there. So, again, it'll just, it just, I think it'll fit my foot better. I don't. I like the the, the hybrid leather and synthetic upper. Um, the leather, I think, forefoot is quite important to me. So, Pimon, not a bad choice. Not sure. a bad choice. Yeah. I, uh, you've gone new me, new you. Yeah. <laughs> I've stuck to another black boot. <laughs> another black boot. <laughs> but wow. But normally, normally I would stick with the brand. I would have a an FG in one brand and an SG in the Never. same brand. Okay. But this time around, and this boot has really, really like taken the market by storm, kind of like taken me by storm a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the Nike Phantom Vision. It's ridiculous. It's and the, it is, yeah. It like, the, the, here's the thing, right? <laughs> Let's here's, get into it. Here's the thing with the SG version. It's got anti-clog technology. Yeah. Coming in already. Yeah. So one, I don't have to That's worry about that. Yeah. Mud's just going to fall off that. I don't have to worry about yeah. that. It's got the ghost lacing technology in there. So you got well. your laces. You like your laces. So I like my laces. Yeah. And you know, it, it it looks like a laces boot. It, it feels like a laces boot when you're wearing it. Yeah. Um, and then of course it's got the quad fit technology inside. Yeah. Which you know, having worn this boot and tried it on it really is a ghost like fit it is one of the softest collars i think i've, I've felt yeah. the only bit of advice i can give to anyone who's thinking about trying to buy these pairs get down to ProDirect direct ldn 19 try them on yeah um and you will quickly realize how good and how comfy these yeah. are normally i'd stick to the same brand but you, you know different. i've gone out there this time and I'm, I'm really back in this boot i think it's an absolute it's an absolute world here. It's, it's up there with one of the biggest step forwards in terms of yeah. boots, I think, this year. Yeah. So it's a massive statement from Nike and it's yeah. a bit of um it's a bit of a nod to T ninety. Yeah, they've got the that upper. that nod there. Yeah. Um yeah. with the CTR um and the and the T ninety. There is some good good nods back to that. And you probably see it a bit more in the um race on concrete colourway. But yeah. you know, I'm you like I'm, black I'm black boot. You can't, you yeah. know, I'm a black boot guy, so I have I've stuck with a black yeah. boot. Anti clog is a good shout. Like this has been around it was last season was its first proper season. Yeah. Um where it was made available and now I think they're just gonna go. Yeah, and as strength. as we said a long time ago, you know, the idea was always for Nike to start rolling anti clog out. Yeah. Into inline product, and, and they're slowly starting to do that more and more now. Sure. Um, so, yeah, having that addition of anti clog, especially when it starts to get wet and miserable, 
save you save that's the, the hassle. one and it's black it's just a complete black flow yeah so, I, so yeah that's that that is my sg so boot. again very different boots uh, bright, very bright very different orange boots and a complete blackout but yeah outstanding you pick your winner angus you can win a you know, win a bag you win all sorts it's amazing all right that's the boots so any, any, anything else? Are we missing anything, anything else? Anything else? Little yes, um, there is. And it's a very, very, it's a, maybe a small thing, but it's a very important awesome. thing. And this is a saying that goes around every changing room in the UK. In, in the world. In the world. Yeah. And that saying is, has anyone got any tape? Yeah. You're normally asking I'm, for I'm it. I'm that kind of guy, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm normally supplying it. Yeah. Ammo, sock guard tape, um, yeah. always in the bag. Yeah. Always, always, always make sure I've got enough sock tape in Gold the bag. Dust. I know I've got these shin pads Dust that keep shows. everything a lot, but it's yeah. always just good to have that extra bit of uh, lockdown in terms of your shin pads. Um, and these are an absolute must yeah. in any kit bag. Yeah. So it's reusable as well. So you know, reusable as well. Yeah. Think of the environment. Speaking of that, I haven't actually got any in my bag, so um, I'll just take that and put that in there. But yeah, cheers. Buy for that. some more nice then. Yeah. Available at Polar X. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's one thing, and I, I, I guess not everyone has this, because some people are more injury prone than others, um, hence my dodgy ankle. Uh, but I actually have some, <laughs> some protein shakes, some soccer supplements uh, to aid injury recovery. Um, this is just powder you mix with water, a glass or a bottle of water after the game, and it's just meant to aid any injuries to your muscle, your joints, or your tendons. And I've got some very weak tendons and ligaments. I'll have so, to give that a go. Um, well, there you go. I've got loads of them. Thank you, mate. That's it, that's our kit bags. That's what we recommend for this season. And any final any final comments, any final words? Yeah, as we said at the start, obviously, if you want to win the contents of either my bag or Angus's bag, yeah. make sure you are commenting, are you Team Andy, are you Team Angus? Yeah. You're probably going to be Team Andy, which or is understandable. Angus. I've got a better choice of boots, Just black better boots. choice of shin pads, you know, better choice of socks. We haven't got any tape. I haven't got any tape, but I can easily buy that. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, uh, like, comment Angus or Andy in the comments below uh, and subscribe to ProDirect Soccer for a chance to win my bag or your kit bag. That simple. Until next time then, uh, I've been Angus. And I've been Andy. See you later. We'll see you soon.